It's time for the radio game show, What Fred Said. And now, your host, Brian Neiman. Thank you very much, fake Don Pardo. Another exciting edition of What Fred Said. I'm so pumped for this. Playing for a $100 gift certificate to Mm. Normandy Farms. Mm, 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 I mm, said mm. I'd take caller number seven. Jim from Silver Spring is caller number seven. Good morning, Jim. How are you? Oh no! Did you dump him? Did you fat finger him? No, oh, there he is! Yay! Oh, we thought you. Goodness, thank goodness you're still there. Do you understand the rules of the game, Jim? Here's how I, it works. I, I will I ask do. a question. I will give Fred Grandy three possible answers. He will give an answer. You can either go on your own, or you can go with what Fred said. You clear on the rules, Jim? Got it. Okay. As always, I try to pick uh, questions that relate to the news of the week. Obviously, Monday is President's Day, so here's a question about presidents. Ah. Good. Who is the only president to have been a minister? The only member of the clergy to serve as president of the United States. Also had the nickname the preacher president. A. Zachary Taylor. B. Herbert Hoover. C. James Garfield. Mr. Grandy. Wow. Give me those three again. A. Zachary Taylor. B. Herbert Hoover. C. James Garfield. All right. I am going to go with C. James Garfield. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have our contestant on the line. Are, are you uh, going to go on your own, or are you going to go with what Fred said? You know, I've I've uh, I, I've got to go with Fred on this one. We're both from Iowa, and uh, he would know if Herbert Hoover had been uh, a preacher president. Zach Taylor sure wasn't. No. Uh, so 